Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I've got three really good fall fishing tips for you today that will help you catch more fish during this falling water temperature period. As good as the fall fishing can be, we also know that if you miss the boat on what the fish are doing, you can really struggle during this time period. You know, cold water fishing is generally not the best in terms of just going out and catching fish here and there. There's a lot of things you, you have to do to really enhance your overall catching experience on the water. So I've got three really good tips that will hopefully help you break down your lakes. Before I get into those tips though, I do wanna remind you, I've got a Tackle Warehouse affiliate link. I'll put it in the video description for you. If you're looking to purchase some tackle, it would be great if you use that link to help support our channel. And you can bookmark it too, so you don't even have to think about it in the future. Those of you who are using it, thank you very much. It is very, very much appreciated. All right, so let's talk a little fall fishing. The first tip I'm gonna give you has to do with the time period that you should be out on the water. Generally speaking, your best feeding window is going to be the warmest part of the day. So that's going to be probably from about 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. That four hour window is your prime feeding window. So I'm talking about when your water temps are dropping below 60, you're into the 50s and even cooler water temperature. It's a, it actually becomes much more significant as the water temperature cools. So that window, once you're down into the 40 degree, win, uh, 40 degree water temperatures, that four hour window is absolutely your best time to be on the water. A really good example of that is Hank and I just recently fished a small weekend tournament. It was a couple of days after a major cold front came in. Water temps dropped about 10 degrees, and we went out and we fished the first uh, almost four hours of that tournament, three hours of that tournament, never caught a bass. At 10.45, from 10.45 to 2 p.m., I think we caught nine keepers. We never really changed anything. We just knew that the fish would probably turn on once the sun got up high enough and started warming the water, and that's exactly what happened. This happens routinely all across the country. With your water temps below 60, 60 degrees, you're gonna have major feeding windows that are the prime period for those fish to eat, and generally speaking, warmest part of the day. So that's tip number one. And that's the cool thing about that is you don't have to you know, bust your butt to get out the door before dark, be on the water and freeze your butt off because generally that's the coldest time of the day as well as first thing in the morning. So that's one of the things I love about fall fishing. The negative with that, though, is you're usually talking about a timing, you know, a, a, an overall uh, sunlight period throughout the day being much shorter. So you don't have that much time. Generally speaking, by, you know, 3, 30, 4 o'clock, the sun's starting to go down and you lose that warm uh, penetrating sunlight. And that's why the fish tend to turn off right around 3 p.m. So that's tip number one. Tip number two has to do with the fish locations. Uh, generally speaking, rock in very hard bottom areas tend to become a much bigger player in the fall. The rock tends to hold more heat and therefore that's what the fish like to move towards. Uh, so regardless of species, regardless of where you're at in the country, rock is going to be a major player. So you want to start to really turn your attention towards those very hard bottom areas. Now, when I say rock, it doesn't have to be boulders. It can be gravel. It just, you want it to be a hard bottom compared to a softer mud bottom. The fish just really tend to move much more towards that hard bottom area uh, as the water gets cooler. A lot of them will winter in those same areas. So they're just starting to set up there. A lot of times you have bait fish that are using those same areas. So it really becomes much more critical to the angler to make sure that they're fishing around hard bottom areas. At the very least, it needs to be hard packed sand and it can be all the way up to giant boulders. But generally speaking, you want to be looking for rock. And then the, the third thing with fall fishing goes back to locating the fish. You need to recognize that generally speaking, this time of year, you start having the fish group up much tighter. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean they're in a school where they're bumping bellies all of the time. What it means is the areas that are holding those fish, a lot of times rock, like I just said, tend to become much more populated by fish. So it's not necessarily like there's a whole wad of them right in the exact spot, but if you've got a big flat that's got all the right criteria, there's gonna be a lot of fish cruising that area and there's gonna be a lot of fish that continue to pull in from outside areas to it. 
So when you find an area that's productive, it's usually to the angler's advantage to spend a pretty good amount of time either covering that area and, and letting the fish actually come to you, or you hit the area, catch one, two, three, four fish, you can leave it, come back in an hour, and you can catch usually several more fish again, and you can do that throughout the day. For me, what I tend to like to do in the fall is try to have three or four good areas where I can actually rotate them. And by the time I get back to the area that I started on, it's several, you know, several hours later. And at that point, the fish are all ready to go again. Uh, but I cannot stress enough how important it is. As the water temps continue to cool, the fish will group up even more uh, to the point when they're in their wintering phase. That is when you may have some fish, especially up here in the North Country, where they are actually bumping bellies because that's just how they're wintering together. So it's critical to recognize that you start having major portions of the fish population condensing into these areas that generally have rock bottom, and those are gonna be the key areas that you wanna really concentrate your time. So hopefully these three tips will help you break down your local lake, help you become a better fall fisherman uh, in terms of dropping water temperatures because that's ultimately what's dictating these fish movements. But ultimately, uh, guys, don't ignore the fall period. I know everyone wants to go out and be in the woods, but man, the fishing can be absolutely excellent right now. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned, new video coming out tomorrow.